Check it. Check it. Greenpoint, the creator. It was, you know, overall a decent artificial intelligence movie. You know, you get the concept of, you know, robots um, in the future, obviously AI that could take over the world and stuff like Pinky in the Brain, if you remember that old school cartoon. Um, but overall, you know, you would have wanted to know a bit more backstory about um, Denzel Washington's son's character. I, I keep forgetting his name, but yeah. I think that's what they were missing more on top of that. I think the times as well was a bit long-winded in terms of where I would have liked to have seen probably a bit more action. They had the sentimental stuff there on lockdown. Do you know what I mean? The kid as well did his part in terms of acting. She or he, I'm still confused whether it was a she or he, but I think it was a she, it was very good. Um, obviously, um, Des Dorshin's son, again, forgotten his, his full name good as well I mean he's a decent actor and he I think this was probably his best role for me he's played in I think Tennant was kind of second best and he's did another one I think KKK Clans Man but I've not seen that one overall not bad movie um, well worth a watch if you obviously you like the long winded stuff can sit for a movie and deal with a lot of the sentimental stuff but without much back details on him and how he got to be chosen, let's say, to be the man, you know, to deal with it all. But good appearance from Gemma Chan as well. Let's not forget she did really well as well. If you know her from Humans, she did really good too. So overall, I'll just say about a 7.5 from me because I think it was good, but as I said, missed a few trips on certain things, but 7.5 is not bad. And that's it from me, Screen Point. Till next time, I'm out. Check it. Check it.